you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. This coming Sunday, we are having a covenant Sunday. To the people of this world, it's nothing, it's useless, it's a sheer waste of time. But to the believers, it is not like that. And I want to prepare your heart. This is not a forcing matter, no. Someone must be willing. You must be willing to do that. It is a personal challenge. If you want to win the battle, remember that part of you may be bruised, or anything can happen for you to I mean, for you to win the battle. There's no way you can enter in the ring and you expect your opponent to watch you beating that opponent. No. He will challenge you. He will scratch your body. But it doesn't mean that you win the battle. Victory is always on your side as a child of God. There are people who want to develop this world, I mean develop their family, educate their children, giving them the best quality education. Everything about their children, they think about the best, the best. But at the end of the day, you cannot see the best, only problems. Only problems. At a tender age, your son or your daughter started now giving you problems. It doesn't mean that you as a father or a mother, you are not, you know, teaching your son or your daughter. No. It is because of where we are coming from. When I talk about this, people always misunderstood this language about the foundation. If you say, Jesus, here I am, I believe in you, I am your new word, what and what, it doesn't mean that Christ is now in you. Remember, Satan is looking at where you are coming from. Your body is marked with tattoos. The blood that dropped out of your body, who took that blood? Where is, can you recover that blood with your mere confession? The answer is no. It is a serious issue. When I talk about um, the program on Sunday, I was yelling, you know, people's heart. Ah, I thought it's 20 kwacha. Ah, we, if you na number fia shupako. You are not ready to change the face of your family. That is the problem with human beings. When you go to the hospital, you spend money. Every time you go to the hospital, you spend money. There's nothing for free. Now we're about to get this freedom. You are looking at the amount. <laughs> prayer is for free. Prayer is what? It's for free. No one can buy prayer. Jesus cannot answer any prayer where money is involved. No, 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 no. no. Prayer is for free. But building an altar or the house of God is not for free because those who are selling material and other things cannot give you just because you are going to change. They will ask you to say, oh, you want cement? Cement is one chan. Oh, you want this? It's... They are not that. For you to do that, it's not about the tongues. It is a placatico work of your hand. You need to show God that you love him the way he loves you. The best sacrifice that you can offer 
is to build his house. That is the best sacrifice. So this coming Sunday, we are not uh, saying, uh, I was told yesterday that there are people asking, now if I break one, my children will suffer. Are you serious? Why must you think like that? If you marry a man, this is the man you say, I love you. And then you are telling that, okay, if I sleep with another man, uh, you beat me. Are you serious with that relationship? You are not serious. You don't know what you are doing. Mark my word, history, uh, I mean future, will prove you wrong. What you see me doing today, it is not the mind of this man. No. This is why it's very difficult for anyone to understand me. Unless those who are led by the Spirit of God. You understand me. You know me. You know who is behind this. Who is doing this? Because what you see here will make you to realize that, oh, this is Jesus at work. There are those who do not believe. They are not even ready to participate. Or to be part of it. They are still contemplating. Ah, ah. Just watch. Maybe after that, you can still believe that Jesus, me too, I believe that it's you who was involved. But don't forget that this a type of a assignment does not come or repeat itself again. It is only once it will never come back again to say, okay, the spirit will say we are going. No, 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 no. Once you made a new covenant with God, that, that's it. Are you there, people of God? So, I'm encouraging you that this coming Sunday, the grace of God is waiting for you. Those who are willing, those who are ready, who want to change, you know, the foundation. Poverty must not be part of you. Don't forget that what is going to happen on this particular Sunday, anything that does not, I mean, that came from this idol, ancestral. I mean, let me just say, anything from evil will no longer be active in your life. What the doctor can treat is what you'll be having in the near future. Because the Spirit of God will take over your life. I hope and trust you understand this. Even those who are watching, this Covenant Sunday is a special Sunday in my life and in your life. It's a special day. I have never seen a day like this coming Sunday. And the, what I saw this morning, it gives more, I mean, it gives me more courage more faith in God. I saw what I've never seen, where things, uh, hmm. I hope and trust that Jesus will give you the grace to, to see your own, on your, on your family, I mean, in your family. What I saw, I've never seen this. What is coming together? Surrender themselves to the supremacy of God Almighty. I saw dead people who have been killed through these, you know, shoe lines. Hmm. Let me just end there. But I'm encouraging you that this shoe line is the cause of your pain. Whether you like it or not, you cannot defeat this unless you establish a covenant with God Almighty. No one can fight Israel and win the battle. Even when you are down to earth as a human being, the covenant will stand for you that this is a child of what? A covenant what? Child. Even where you are committed something, you feel like you are guilt. 
Your enemy will try to bounce back on you. The covenant that you made you stay. No. This one is a what? A covenant what? Child. Uh, this coming Sunday, we will we, we, we share what God has prepared, you know, to all of us. But I'm encouraging you, take it serious. Take it what? You saw what happened on Wednesday when you, you saw the, the ark of God. Just the picture. If it is this mind that suggests to do that, you will see nothing apart from the picture. Barrenness, blocked system, whatever that has been there in the family, the link is from that foundation. They marked your body. They did what they did for you. I'm doing the work of my day. History. History. Like we are, are watching the, you know, if what you see me doing today, it is from Jesus. If there will be anything, in your generation, what you see me doing will be part of it. Praise the Lord. Let me take you to the book of Judges, chapter 2. Judges, chapter 2. The book of Judges, chapter 2. I'll just read... One, two, three. The angel of the Lord went up from Gigo to Bokim and said, I brought you up out of Egypt and led you into the land I swear to give to your ancestors. I said, I will never break my covenant with you. Two, and you shall not make any covenant with people of this land, but who shall break down their altars. Yet, you have disobeyed me. Why have you done this? I have also said, I will not drive them out before you. They will come, they will become a trap for you, and their gods will, will become snares to you. Let me repeat my leadings. The angel of the Lord went from Gigo to Bokim and said, I brought you up out of Egypt and led you into the land I swear to give to your ancestors. I said, I will never break my covenant with you. This is God of my talking to his people. There are people who would say he was not talking to the people like us. He was talking to the Israelites. If you say he was talking to them, why are you claiming to be Christians or believers? It is through the blood of Jesus that you became part of what? Abraham. The blood of Jesus has made you to be one in the body of Christ. We are serving a covenant-keeping God. Simply means there is no way you can serve him without establishing an altar. The altar of your forefathers will fight you and bring you down. It is very easy for everyone to say, I am a child of God. I was born in a Christian family. But it is not easy to enjoy the presence of God Almighty. Listen to verse 2. And you shall not make any covenant with the people of this land. You shall break down their altars. God knew that in this world, there are people who belong to this world. People who use the ideas of this world. And there are people that he brought to be his own children. Who live according to his word. Who live under the covenant is more like a shelter. A spiritual what? Shelter. Do 
you shall not make any covenant with the people of this land. How do you make the covenant with the people of this land? By marking your body. By believing in this concussion. All these things that we are doing where blood is involved, you mark your body, you do this, know for sure that anything where blood is involved, it is a covenant. He said you shall not do that. Look at our family members. Look at our brothers and sisters. You can talk and talk. You can encourage them as long as they are not connected or they are not sheltered under this covenant. The covenant of this world will capture them. They will be drinking, smoking, fighting, doing all kinds of evil. This is the word that I want you to keep in your heart. Leading to the Sunday. You shall break down their altars. How? By denouncing them and rejecting whatever they are bringing to you. Very few individuals here who has no tattoos. Tattoos are not these prayers um, you know, are putting all over their body. That is another style of tattoos. You know the tattoo I'm talking about? That is European what? Tattoos. We have our own tattoos. I'm one younger. You know what I'm talking about? It's either you, you put or here or anywhere you feel this is the way. This is why you see whatever you are doing today. You are getting old. Instead of your life, I mean, your, your business or your career going up there. <laughs> your career is the one which is running down before your life. Today, if you sit down and look at your life, there is nothing that you can talk about. It. Break their altars. Break their what? How do you break them? By making a new covenant. Because our forefathers, they never, never made any covenant with the God of Abraham or Isaac and Jacob. They confessed Christ with their mouth. But they were covenanted with the idols from their forefathers. Are you there, people of God? They never made any covenant with God Almighty. They made a covenant with the gods of the land where they belong. Go to your village. Go and consult how I wish. Go to the village. Those who want to go to the village, we look for transport. Go and consult and ask. You hear what I'm talking about. Today, Satan is demanding that you pay me with your suffering. You pay me with your sickness until I take you out of this life. This barrenness that you see came from the same shrine. If it is the will of God after this Sunday, <laughs> there will be no barrenness in your life. Covenant will stand for you. The altar will stand for you. What you cannot defeat is the shrine, the altar of Satan. When you are tired, his altar is not tired. Your body is tired. Praise the Lord. Yet you have disobeyed me. Why have you done this? This is the question God is asking. Why have you done this? You are claiming to be Jesus' followers. But the life that you are living... Look at the place of God. Look at where we are. Go and survey. You see that the most neglected place is the church. There are churches when you enter, you feel bad. And that shrine is still fighting you, misleading you, destroying everything, marriage, children, 
Business. This is the time. This is what? I'm encouraging you. I am not forcing you. Don't participate if you don't understand this language, please. And don't even go outside there talking about something which you don't know. You are committing sin. If you feel like I, I don't understand this, remain like that. Leave us. Leave us. We know where we are going. We know what is going to happen. Don't talk about something you because you people mwalite mukula nda pa vintu na nguta ufishi be chikuve na umfwa nge fina fyo balandile. Continue living in problem. You are not ready to sacrifice so that you defeat your enemy. Life is more important than food. Life is more important than money. We have buried brothers and sisters who are supposed to be bloodwinners in our family because of this evil order. They have died. Anyone who be like uyumuntu alaba ewala ewala in your family, fiala mchitata get if you are. Until wafwe, poverty yatu wadilam family. And you want to continue like that? Me, I am not ready for that one. I want to change the foundation and I am ready for that one. Mm. Look at your family members. Those who are like this man or this sister is the one who is doing very fine. Before you know it, the brother is no more. Poverty has taken over again the family. And you want to continue like that? You want your children to inherit that foundation? God forbid. You are there to sacrifice for the sake of the future. Let your children and your grandchildren remember you for that. This is the sacrifice of our mother and our father. Today we can enjoy that God of our father can stand for us and fight for us. We are going to learn this lesson. And poverty will be the thing of the past in our family. Mark my words. What you see on Sunday will boost your faith. That, ah, this, this one is not just an encouragement. God is involved. God is what? And if you don't know, when you know your enemy realize that we are about to lose this one, they will start now talking to you in a different way. Why do you want to do this? You have met a man like this. You met a man. Remember what that man said? Have you ever seen anything? My people, don't pay attention to evil ideas within your body. God is on the throne. If it is not the will of God, you will see nothing. If it is the will of God, <laughs> mark my word. The first person, uko mkasa mbirila ni kuli ine. Mkasa mbirila kuli banani. Mkamonefi ya wantu wakambo kunchita attack because mkalaya pisa. Pamulu bifo nchila fuma pachalo. Na imwe mwine, nga chakwa tuwa chita chimone mo mkalaya pisa. I can assure you on that one. So, make this covenant with your God. Don't look at money. We need to build the house of God. 